This one's gonna be on Plowshares Plow Up command. I did do a video on Plowshare in the past, but that one's for downloading. This one's for uploading. So make sure you have um, Plowshare install. Might not be in your repository, so you have to do it manually for uh, other distribution. But this is the program. It's a command line downloader and uploader for sites like uh, you know Cyber Locker Links, like uh, RapidShare, MediaFire, and so on and so forth. Um, so uh, inside it actually what is that plow share let's spell it right inside this thing um they actually have other commands in here so the last one we talked about was plow down and that's for downloading this time i want to do a uh, plow up for uploading and also you can do a uh, plow delete if they give you a uh, link to delete the you know the files so how do we do this here? All you gotta do is, uh, well, let's see what sites to support. So we're gonna do um, plow up dash dash modules. And this will give you a link, uh, I mean not a link, uh, a list of all the sites you can upload to. So let's go up top here. So these are all the sites here. I mean, some of them work, some of them are outdated, but you know, you can try whatever it is. So let's say for example, uh, what do we wanna try? Let's say deposit files or whatever, right? And um, what else do we have in here? Well, let's have some files. If you want to upload, uh, let's say this one here, plow up. And we'll type in uh, the deposit files here. And let's say we want to upload this, um, I don't know what the hell this is. All right, we'll upload that. Let's see if it works. All right, so this one doesn't work. I guess it, it requires like a, a password or, or some type of login. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want the anonymous one. So we're going to select another um, from our list here. So we're going to do turbo bit because I know this one works. So we'll do the same command again, but uh, we'll change it to turbo bit, right? So if one size doesn't work, you can go on to the next one. Uh, because I don't want to use my, you know, any password or any login, and this one requ it doesn't require you to have a login or anything, and you know they give you a link here once it's done. So we upload the file from the command line, and this is the link that you should send to people if you want them to download. All right, so this is where you can download. Now, if you want to delete this, uh, since this one has a delete uh, link here, you could do that. So this one, if you refresh it, right, it still works. Uh, no problems, but if we delete it, uh, let's do that here. Plow delete, and we'll put this in single quotes. How about that? The whole thing? Come on now. Put that in single quotes, and they might give you an error or whatever, or it says failed. But let's say we refresh this. Does it work? See, it deletes it. Uh, it doesn't tell you it in the command line, but. Sometimes some of the scripts are not like uh, up to date, but it does work. There you go. Um, anything else in here? If you want to upload multiples, since this is the command line, you can do that. So let's look at some files again. And what the hell was that one? Actually, let's do plow up. And we're gonna delete this. And let's say we want to upload other stuff in here. What we want to do? This is the Star Wars um, thing here. So this is one file, this AUG file, and what's some other else? Um, what else have we got? That is lightweight. So let's say this thing here, this out 31K here. So we do out the MP3, right? Um, so upload two files at one time. So the first one is this AUG file for Star Wars, and this one is uh, MP3 out. So they give you uh, two of them here, right? One link, two link, so on and so forth. So if you want to open it, let's open it. And we have that. Um, so that's how that works from the command line. Plow up and plow delete. If you want to watch my old video on plow down, I'll link you in the description. I think it's on, that one's like five or six years old now. Anyways, uh, that is the program. Pretty cool if you want to do it straight from the command line. Because someone was asking me uh, for a file. I think it was like a music or something like that. 
and I didn't want to bust out the you know uh, the web browser do it just do it from the command line and that's how I did it anyways that's it for this one